today I'm doing a request for you. It was requested a long time ago and I can't remember who requested it now. They put it on the comment to a video instead of sending me a message so I can't remember who it was. I've looked through and I can't find it. But anyway, they wanted to see an elegant and yet casual look that could be for a formal evening on a cruise ship. So this is what I came up with. It keeps, this, keeps the elegance and the evening dramatic look but it's still light enough that it doesn't look too heavy for being on a cruise and relaxing and enjoying your vacation. And it also, despite all the colors we use in this look, takes very little time to do. So anyway, I hope you like it. If you want to learn how to do it, keep watching and I'll show you how. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is apply a base. Now I've already gone ahead and applied NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil to my lids. Now I want to find a color that's going to look very natural on my eyelids. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the sixth color down in the first row of my 88 matte palette. And I'm going to mix it with the fourth color down in the second row. I'm just going to dab my brush into this one and then into this one. And then I'm just going to put it all over my lid. And I'm just applying that all over my whole lid, right up to the brow bone for now. Now I want to take a burgundy, so I'm going to go over to the eighth row and I'm going to take the sixth color down, which is this color right here. And I'm just going to take that and I'm going to apply it sort of in my crease but going straight up. So instead of going around, we're going straight up into that crease, straight up to right where our brow bone starts. You're going to work it right in there. And it looks funny right now, but it will look better when we're, when we're done. So you don't want to go around, you want to go straight up on a diagonal line. Now we're going to go back into the 88 matte palette and we're going to choose the color below that which is this purple shade right here. It's like a deep purple and just go over top of that line. And with that on we're going to go into the bright purple that is right directly below the dark purple we just used. and just go over it again. Now I'm, now I'm going to take a blending brush and just blend that a little bit so it doesn't look like such a harsh line. Now for people who don't have the 88 palette, you know what, you don't need the 88 palette to do this. When I mixed the two shades, it was just to get a, at the beginning, it was just to get a light, almost natural shade on my lids. But really any cream or beige color would work. Um, what I just did there with the crease, really any burgundy or purples or if you just wanted to use a purple or a burgundy. I just like layering colors because it adds dimension to the eyes and if you notice it makes it kind of change the effect as you move your face but or move your head. But really seriously you know you could just use a purple or you could just use a burgundy if that's what you've got. Now I want to go back into the palette and I want to choose the black in the corner and I'm just going to go along my outer V. And now that I've got that done, I'm just going to blend that out a bit. You can tell I haven't done this in a while. I keep forgetting to zoom in so you guys can see. Now I'm just going to go into my 88 shimmer palette and I am going to choose the color in the eighth row and the fourth color down. And then I'm just going to go above where we put those crease colors. Again, staying on a diagonal line and not going around. I'm just kind of wiggling it above there. Just wiggling my brush just to kind of blend it a bit, but not going around, just going straight up. Now we're going to go back into the shimmer palette, and I'm going to cho choose the seventh row with the fourth color down. So the color right directly beside that one. Now again, if you don't have the 88 palette, just, just use a pink. It's not a big deal, you know, work with what you've got. Now for our highlighter color, I just want to go to the first row, which is your neutral or your white row. I call it the highlighter row. 
and I'm going to choose the fourth color down, which is this color right here. Still in the shimmer palette. And I'm just going to go along my brow bone with this and blending it into the pink. Now I'm just going to go apply my eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back. And I'm back. Now when I was gone I realized I wasn't wearing any lip color. So to let you know what I'm wearing on my lips in case you're curious, I'm wearing CoverGirl Cherry Brandy Lipstick, which is a nice burgundy color. And over top of it I'm wearing doo Twilight Venom. I actually got this like four months ago and I loved it so much I got some more like two weeks later because I guess it's a limited edition item but it lasts forever so I probably didn't need to go get the second one because I'm still on the first one. Okay now for the liner on my top lids I am wearing the Wet n Wild Gel Liner in Eggplant. It's the dark purple color and on my waterline I'm wearing NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil and on my lashes I'm wearing CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara. Now, for underneath our eyes, I want to go into the 88 matte palette again, and I want to take the third color down in the second row and put it under the inner third of our lower lashes. For the next color under our lashes, we're going to use the burgundy shade again, which was the sixth color down in the eighth row, and we're just going to go across till we get to from the one third of the way to two thirds of the way. So we're just going kind of almost to the outer third and then stopping and then for the final third of our bottom, lower lid we're going to use the bright purple that's right directly two colors below the um, burgundy and just put that right in there and at this point normally I have my hair out of the ponytail and everything but it is just so bloody humid that I'm leaving it in today so this is our final look I really hope you like it have a wonderful day until next time talk to you later